This is part two of my review on the D4303G by Xtron. Xtron's, I believe it actually is. Uh, it's an eBay Chinese uh, marketed um, or manufactured rather single DIN DVD GPS. Kind of those all in one uh, single DIN units. Um, the first part, you know, went over what was in the package and how it was packaged over here. I'm going to try and actually get into the functionality. I have it set up in my house right now. I just uh, one single speaker back here that you can't see. So the sound quality is not going to be that good. I can't really test the sound quality until I get my vehicle back. However, um, we can go over the functionality of the screen. So the flex plate does detach by um, pressing this button here. Um, first right off the bat, when you do attach the face plate, you're going to try and line this up. That is wrong. There is probably a little less uh, than an eighth of an inch gap between the top of the actual um, the face plate and the head unit. I don't know why it doesn't line up, kind of bugs me. Actually, it really does bug me. Um, and the bottom, of course, sticks out lower than this. Um, but we'll go ahead and power it up. Now this is the iPod menu, I'll get into this a little bit later, but it does remember what you had last had it on. Um, but uh, this is the main menu, um, you know, nothing fancy. Uh, we have disc, let me, let me try and get this a little bit closer. And it, it does want to keep going back to the what you had it on. But you have disc, Bluetooth, auxiliary in, USB setup, iPod, GPS, um, radio, Oh, this is a norm. Back sight and TV. Um, we'll go ahead and go into iPod since that's where it's going to keep trying to take me. Actually, let's go into setup. Setup, uh, you have basic things for your Bluetooth, um, appearance. You have three major modes. They're all pretty ugly, if you ask me. That one's really hideous. I mean, you can hardly even see the, the lettering. Um, and then mode two. And mode one is even worse, is like a starry night background. Maybe if you're a Twilight fan, you'll like it. Alright, uh, so here's where I keep it on. It's the best of the three. You can, um, now this is running Windows CE 5.0 or 6.0, I can't remember. But if you do have any computing experience, you can um, mod it uh, a little bit. But um, I'll get into that a little bit later. So let's go back to the main screen. I'm going to go ahead and go to iPod. So here's the iPod menu. Because I have my iPod hooked up, which is here actually is my, my wife's iPod. Um, it was one to keep, it's going to keep wanting to go to that. Now, complaint number one, actually number two, um, here you can see the iPod and I'll just try and hold it there. Now here's your screen. If, if you're on your iPod, here's what you're going to be looking at. Okay. Now the only other option is to switch to your GPS, but um, or switch to another input, a video input, but you can't run, you know, like of course a video or an iPod at the same time. But of course there's no, it does control the iPod. You can see I press, I can press menu here, I can I can go, uh, I can press OK, and you can see my uh, the iPod um, responding. You can go up and down and all that sort of stuff and press OK. Let's try and go to a, a song. I have no idea what's on here. We'll press OK. All right, and we'll hit play. Now, you notice it doesn't show any of the information from the actual on screen. It doesn't even show you the name of the song. You're just you're gonna have to be based on the iPod for that. Now, mute down here is good. Um, another complaint on the iPod screen, let's go ahead and mute it, is, actually I'll show you this. Um, let me turn the volume down here. Now if you hit stop, of course it does absolutely nothing. Um, I don't know why they put that on there. To, and actually stop the song, of course, you have to do hit play, which pauses it as it would in an iPod. Now random uh, does work and repeat does work as well. I don't know if you see the icons popping up on the iPod. But uh, so this is your basic iPod menu. Um, I really dislike that there's no information from the song playing at all. And also that if I want to play songs from my iPod, I'm going to be staring at this beautiful bl blank blue screen the whole time. That's, that's just great. Um, what I can actually do to get away from this is what I'll be doing. I'm going to hit play and turn the volume back up. Oh, one more thing. Um, over here to the side, we do have um, mute 
right here, if you can see my finger covering up. Mute, um, there's band, a lock, which locks all the keys. And also mode, mode. Um, if you hit mode here, it'll just cycle through the different modes, AVN, DVD. Um, and, but the one thing I do like about it is that I do not have to have the screen at all to control the iPod necessarily. You know, I have volume up in, up here, um, and I have the, let's go ahead and play a song. Turn the volume up. And if I do hit the next, it will take to the next, well, well since this is the only track in the album, it's only going to play this over and over again. Yeah. But it will work if you do have more than one track in the album. We'll go back to the main menu, because that's the iPod. I'm just going to go ahead and unplug it. Actually, let me show you this. Um, the only way to get a around this blue screen, let's say I'm playing, um, I can actually tap the power.